Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Danny, the Multiple Streams Queen. I want to talk about today. If you haven't subscribed, hold up, hold up, hold up. If y'all haven't subscribed already, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. We're going to be talking about all things Airbnb, short-term rental business, running a business with your family. So today, uh, I am going to be talking about this new short-term rental um, guidelines for Atlanta, right? I know it's been a hot topic. They've been talking about it for months, that this is one of the main reasons why I have not invested in Atlanta, uh, because they had so much going on. And I was like, oh, I'm going to save myself the headache, and I am not going to go down to Atlanta. So let's talk about... Um, this permit that you guys have to get now if you're in the city of Atlanta. But let me just kind of give y'all a little background uh, on why um, transparency is important, right? I'm not saying that you cannot run your Airbnb under the table because plenty of people do it and they do it successfully. Uh, but this is why transparency is important, right? Be honest. Tell people what you're doing, right? Because now thousands of people, there are literally thousands of short-term rentals uh, in the Atlanta area. <laughs> and now people are being required to do, uh, to get these permits in order to have their listing continue to be live on Airbnb. Uh, and now it seems like a pretty strenuous permit. <laughs> And so I'm going to go over it today. But again, if your community or your landlord doesn't know that you're doing Airbnb, it would be kind of hard to get their assistance with getting this permit unless you are an owner of that property. So let's kind of talk about um, what's needed if you want to um, host in it, the city of Atlanta. Uh, I know when... I was looking this information up. There are a lot of things and I was like, oh my gosh, like you have to be a resident. Uh, it looks like they only allow you to have two listings, one your primary, one your secondary. Um, but let's look at this information here. Here it is, the ordinance. Okay, so let's read the highlighted stuff. So short-term rental owners should be held accountable for setting expectations of the community standards for the public safety and general welfare of the city of Atlanta. Atlanta desires to strength, strengthen and per perpetuate the identity uh, and other benefit neighbors uh, derived from being members of their specific communities. Uh, overabundance of short-term rental units in a community increases a commercial element uh, to residential uses, okay? So um, just kind of going over the highlighted uh, information, um, but wanna talk about also what is needed from you. Short-term rental license. Um, it's a license issued by the Department of City Planning to owners uh, or designated agent of short-term rental units who have submitted the required documentation and met the requirements set forth um, for the chapter for operation of a short-term rental unit. No person or entity shall rent, lease, or otherwise exchange for comp compensation all or any portion of the dwelling unit as short-term rental unit um, as defined in section 20-1003 without first obtaining or short-term rental license pursuant to the regulations contained in this chapter. Um, it looks like you you shall not transfer the right to operate any, under any license in the, under this chapter to any other person or entity by lease agreement or contract or any other agreement. I want to get into the nitty gritty, like what you actually need. So um, 
applicants for a short-term rental license shall submit on an annual basis an application for the short-term rental license to the Department of Planning and Community Development. The application shall be accompanied by a non-refundable application fee in the amount of $150. Such application should include the address of the unit to be used as a short-term rental, the name, address, telephone number, email address of the short-term rental agent, which shall constitute his or her 24-hour contact information, short-term rental agents signed acknowledgement that he or she has reviewed this chapter and understands the requirements, the number and location of parking spaces allotted uh, to the premises, the short-term rental agent's agreement to use his and her best efforts to assure that the use of the premises by short-term rental occupants will not destroy disrupt um, the neighborhood and will not interfere with the right of the neighbor and property owners to the inquirement enjoyment of their properties right i knew that i read something uh that basically said that you had to let your neighbors know that you're going to be using this property as a short-term rental any other information uh, that this chapter requires the short-term rental agent to provide to the city as part of an application uh, for the short-term rental license, the chief operating um, officer or his or her designee uh, shall have authority to obtain additional information from the applicant as necessary to achieve the objectives of this chapter. Uh, attached to the submission of the application um, described in this section, the short-term rental license shall provide written rules posted in the short-term rental unit, including acknowledgement that it shall be unlawful to allow or make any noise or sound that exceeds the limits set forth in the city's noise ordinance. Units are encouraged to uh, provide a noise monitoring device. So if you don't know, uh, you can use Minute. Uh, I think it's uh, Party Crasher is maybe another one of those devices that you can get. Acknowledgement uh, that the maximum occupancy of the short-term rental unit is limited to two adults per bedroom. If uh, available, the location and the amount of on part parking, on-site parking. Acknowledgement uh, in agreement that violations of this chapter may result in immediate termination of the agreement and eviction from the short term rental unit by the owner or agent, as well as the potential liability for payments of fines levied by the city. So this, you know, to me, it sounds like now people can your neighbors or people can report you and now they're trying to evict you from the unit like y'all they are doing a lot down in atlanta evidence that the short-term rental license applicant has uh, provided notification via certified united states mail to each property adjacent to of their intent to secure a short-term rental license so now you got to send certified letters to properties around you, letting them know your intent for the property. Okay, this notification must include the address of the unit to be used as a short term rental in the name, address, telephone number and email address of the short term rental agent. Right. This notification must be given to each property adjacent to the property at which the applicant is applying to operate a short term rental. This notification shall be sent certified mail to the address of the adjacent property for purposes uh, of this section. It shall not be necessary for the applicant to identify and include the name of specific owner of the of record of the adjacent property in this notification. If the rental agent changes, the short-term rental agent shall notify the city of Atlanta within 10 business days. The owner of a short-term rental shall designate a short-term rental agent on its application for a short-term rental license. A short-term rental owner may also serve as a short-term rental agent. But then again, if you're the agent, you gotta give out all of your information uh, to the city and then also to your adjacent neighbors. Uh, the duties of the short-term rental agent are to be available to handle any problems arising from the use of the short-term rental. So if something is going on, you're going to be the point of contact for uh, your neighbors to call 
<laughs> Keep his or her, her name and emergency contact uh, telephone number posted in a readily visible place in the short term rental unit. Right. Receive and accept service of any notice of violation related to the use of occupancy of the premises. Monitor the short term rental unit for compliance with this chapter and list a short term rental unit license number on each online listing. Right. So this is information a grant or denial of application. No external signage is permitted. So, oh, wow, highlighted $500 penalty per violation. Oh, the police department shall maintain a record of all violations of city code occurring at or relating to short-term rental units. So this is, you know, this is a lot of stuff, right, for a uh, host that are down in the city of Atlanta. Um, I want to get into, like, what is needed from... Um, for the properties, because I saw something about deeds and all of that. Holders of the short-term rental license shall ensure that any online platform which provides a website or websites and that which the license um, enlists to facilitate their short-term rental within the city of Atlanta must provide a phone number in or website for community members to submit concerns regarding short-term rentals in their neighborhood assist with educating short-term rental agents about this ordinance within the first five years of the ordinance taking effect meet with the city of planning uh, the department of city planning to provide and receive feedback on implementation the department of city and community development um, shall establish and monitor a public intake portal through which citizens can submit questions or complaints via email and telephone. Taxes. So that's all the information here about your taxes. Wow. Mm, where is the application? I wanna get into the application. Okay, so this is the license process. Complete a short-term rental license applications in its entirety. Uh, the application can be assessed through Office of Building online portal. Okay, so it's gonna make me create um, a login. Um, the online application must contain the following information, address of the short-term rental unit, 24-hour contact information of the short-term rental agent, name of the short-term rental agent, name, address, telephone number, and email of the short-term rental agent, um, provide acknowledgments and documents as listed below, sign acknowledgement that the short-term rental ordinance has been read and understood number and location of parking spots at the short-term rental location applicant must watch the following to uh, the submittal of the application much attached i'm sorry written rules posted in the short-term rental unit acknowledge that it is unlawful to allow or make any noise or sound that exceeds the limits set forth in the city's noise ordinance acknowledge the maximum occupancy of the short-term rental unit is limited to two adults per bedroom number of parking spots provided in the location of the parking spots uh parking spaces on site acknowledgement and agreement that violations may result in the immediate termination of the short-term rental license acknowledgement that if the short-term rental uh agent changes um the city must be notified within 10 business days. Acknowledgement that the short-term rental applicant has provided notification to adjacent properties on either side of their application um, to secure a short-term rental license. Notification uh, include the following, the address of the unit to be used as a short-term rental. Uh, the contact information of the short-term rental agent must be sent via certified USPS mail to each property on either side of the short-term rental to the left of the property and to the right of the property. Must identify and include the address of the specific owner uh, of record of the adjacent property notified. Additional, additional documentation, Not neighbor notification proof, 
copy of the stamp certified mail receipt providing proving notification was sent to adjacent properties in a copy of the letters if owner is applying on homeowner's affidavit short-term rental agent affidavit uh, authorization and a government issue id of the owner and a government issue id for the short-term rental agent if the short-term rental agent is applying on behalf of the owner or long-term tenant homeowner's affidavit short-term rental agent affidavit authorization and a government issue id of the owner in our long-term tenant and the short-term rental agent if the long-term tenant is applying, you need the homeowner's affidavit, short-term rental agent affidavit authorization form in the government issue ID of the owner, short-term rental agent, and long-term tenant. Woo! Proof of residency. To prove uh, the unit is the primary resident of the owner or the long-term tenant, the government issue ID should match the address of the short-term rental. You need a utility bill, a rental agreement, lease agreement, long-term lease for the tenant, and other supporting documents as needed. Proof of ownership. To prove ownership of the home sharing unit, you must provide a copy of the deed, homestead exemption, and any additional supporting documents to prove ownership. Entity proof of um, proof of primary residence. To prove the unit is the primary residence of the entity owner, the government issued ID should match the address of the short-term rental, a notify, um, notarized entity ownership affidavit, primary residence form, a utility bill and other supported documents are needed, entity proof of ownership to prove ownership of the entity, a copy of certificate of organization of the entity, current annual registration of the entity is needed in addition to the deed, homestead exemption and other supporting documents are needed. Multifamily requirements, evacuation plan must submit an evacuation plan map with short-term rental license application showing the exit path from your unit in the event of a fire or emergency the evacuation plan must be posted in the unit you may be able to obtain a map from the owner of the building or from the property manager of the building homeowner affidavit it must be signed by the owner of the property or property manager of the building given permission uh, to use the unit as a short-term rental and here is where some of the other information can be found uh, but i just wanted to kind of go over this new um atlanta permit thing for y'all to get a license down there so i hope that that was helpful for anybody that is currently in atlanta or wants to invest in atlanta uh go and get y'all license so y'all can continue to operate y'all business all right y'all uh if you like this video please subscribe and share with anybody else that you know who wants to get into the airbnb industry we're going to be dropping gems and tools and uh, to help you get started and be successful. Until next time. Bye.